name is Larry Witt. I'm a recording engineer and mixer. Um, originally from Detroit, Michigan, but now here based in the Los Angeles area. Um, I know Dave. Uh, basically, uh, he's my mentor. Um, I met him when I was in school, and he took me under his wing. Something that uh, a lot of us young guys don't have nowadays. You know, back in the old school days, you know, you start in the studio and you work underneath somebody. They don't really have that too much nowadays. So, kind of blessed to be in that type of situation. Um, Basically, Dave has, you know, owe a lot to him for everything that's happened in my career, you know, from me winning my Grammy up until the things that I know now. From there, you know, from school and, and mentoring me through recording and everything like that, um, I started assisting Dave. You know, I go over to his house. We have little listening sessions and stuff like that. I would prep sessions, stuff like that. And then um, we started co-mixing. We went through a bunch of different rigs. You know, we, we tried out a bunch of different things bunch of different converters and then um one day he landed this convert eight from dangerous and uh when i first heard it i went wow like that's that's kind of crazy and then you know he added another piece to it with the two bus plus and at that point you know it was crazy for me because you know i, I generally worked on a ssl 4000 and hearing that sound particularly in a living room was kind of nuts for me and and being that day was mentoring me and teaching me how to hear things and, and mentoring me and mixing, I had to have the same sound. So I wanted to mimic his rig and that rig itself actually started changing my quality and sound. And it started um, getting uh, producers like Warren Campbell, uh, Jay Bynum, um, also uh, Adonis Shropshire, uh, and also uh, Augie Ray. Got them to trust my sound. And then ultimately um, for the producers that I do mix for, instilled enough trust in me to where I started mixing for them pretty much all their mixes. So that's how I know Dave, or as I can say, Pop. <laughs> well, what made me decide to take them on uh, under my wing was, again, finding somebody that was willing to listen, someone that was willing to learn. Um, when I first met him, you know, he had the enthusiasm as uh, a, a lot of students or people that come up to me and want me to take them on as assistants or, or uh, to mentor. But after his class, he, he stayed on it. He constantly, you know, would email me, constantly would ask me questions. And eventually I noticed that he could hear certain things that would make it easier for me to, to increase that or to, to mentor him. So as he would sit under me and literally in listening sessions, and I would uh, have him do some mixes and, and I would guide him with uh, changes I would make, but I would also want him to find himself. Um, he saw me go through uh, different converters. He saw me go through summing mixers. And um, when, when the change took place for me, that light bulb came on for him too, because something about the sound difference, I mean, the first thing we did when we listened to it, when we turned it on, besides, you know, the gear, it, when it comes on, it looks like Christmas morning. So I love that already. I mean, that brought out the kid in me, all the green and red and all the, I literally had a tear fall from my eyes. <laughs> when the music came on, the first thing we did was look, look at each other like, what is this? What? And, and we started to listen to more and more. I pulled up things like uh, uh, big band stuff, uh, whether it's Lalo Schifrin or uh, uh, the Pink Panther, just different things where I can test the definition it worked out with him having a smaller rig with the Convert 8 and the 2 Bus Plus because he could set it up for me. And then when I get it, I can just go. But I know that he's listening to the same thing that I listen for. So I can easily over the phone say, you know, um, uh, bring this down or move this over, um, add a little more uh, the transformer, add a little more paralimit, things like that. And I know when I go to his place, the sound is not going to be different. It's, we're going to uh, translate going back and forth. Um, but... It really made my day when I heard that a lot of those, uh, the younger producers now, um, said that they want him to specifically mix all their music after he got this dangerous rig. It changed his life. So it wasn't just my life. It, 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 it trickled down to someone else. So, I mean, I, it doesn't get any better than that.